When you have guys that have been sitting in the same spot in the same dressing room for 10 or 12 years and then you get there and you unpack your bag and you get ready to play and you look over and Lang's not there and McGrath's not in the other corner, yeah, of course it feels different. So you get emotional, but at the same time you look across there and you realise you've got these young kids in your side that it's up to me to, to mould the way they're going to go about their international careers and their international cricket. No McGrath, no Warren in the side. India, do they have the mental strength to confront Australia and give them a real game on their own patch? Oh, he's got that one away. Oh, he's hit that one nice and firmly. Got him! Well bowled, well played Australia. They win by 337 runs. That is a hiding. 15 on the chart. Remember that the record stands at 60. It would have been a motivating factor knowing that we were really close to achieving something really special as a group. That if it was spoken about, it would have been spoken about for five seconds. We would have put a lid on it. Got him! Yes, he has! That's a big one! Oh, wonderful scenes here at the Sydney Creek Ground. 2-0 up in the series. 16 Test match wins in a row. Don't tell me this time that you're not thinking about that record. Oh, I think we've all thought about it a little bit. Um, I actually mentioned it yesterday for the first time for a while in the, in the press, but yeah, that's there if we're good enough. Um, yeah, as we all know, it's not an easy thing to do to win a Test match, probably hence why we celebrated like we did last week. And bowled him. There it is. India win the third test match of the three mobile test series. It's the first win for Captain Anil Kumble against Australia. And once again, the Indians have stopped Australia's winning streak. It happened for the first time back in 2001, Calcutta. It's happened here today at the WACA 2008. I sort of played through the year, I guess, where the rivalry between Australia and India really started to heat up. You know, they had some prickly players with Harbhajan and Zahir and Laxman and these sort of Ganguly that could be prickly around at us and I guess we had our own guys that be, could be quite prickly around them. So you know, that's where the rivalry sort of started and I think it's just grown and grown through the years to be, to be one of the great rivalries in world cricket. Obviously that was the off-field stuff with Harbhajan but you know, you struggled against Harbhajan you know, on the field during that series. Yeah, well look, I had great battles with Harbhajan right through our careers, you know, he got me out a lot in Test cricket. I scored a lot of runs against him in Test cricket and World Cups as well. So we had some fantastic battles. And looking back now, they're the things that you miss as well. You'd li I'd like to be able to lock myself into battle with him once again as well. Yeah, I remember he got me out with a really good Dujra at the MCG. I think it might have even been the first ball he bowled to me. Came in and bowled a Dujra that just pitched perfectly, and I was unsure if it was going to spin or go straight. And I played straight and just went away enough and caught the outside edge and went to sleep. SCG got me out early on as well, off with almost like an arm ball type delivery that I tried to work into the leg side, got a leading edge and got caught at bat pad on the off side. And then he, that's when he went for that big run down in front of the, our change rooms and whatever else. So, a bit of theatre going on, I guess. Out, first ball, have a look at the celebration. Habajan, he's not had the greatest day, but he's enjoying this, that's for sure. Things weren't easy. I hadn't made 100 for a while either, I reckon, around that time. So, look, he was a, he was a terrific bowler, a very skillful bowler, and they're the battles that you, you love being in. Ponting's had a bit of a problem against Habajan in particular. Oh, he's very good there. Shouts of catch it, but good use of the feet from Ponting. Pressure starts building up, but you just got to find a way to to cope with it and, and keep believing in what you're doing is right and stick to that. It's a great sign that even the balls that are placed in the perfect position by Harbison, he's coping. Catch! Exactly like that. That's what I say to young guys now, you know, ups and downs, stick to what you believe is right and before you know it, you'll be on the other side of it. So that was a, a big challenge for me, certainly, going forward. Got it! There's a stubborn and harder 100 for you. 34th Test Match 100. You received a text from Adam Gilchrist during that test, is that, is that right? About he was finishing up? He called me up to his room actually, yeah. He called me up to his room and said, I've got something to talk, something to, talk to you about. And the first thing that comes to mind, because it happened in, with the other guys, with, with Lang uh, 
McGrath and, and Warney, they were pretty similar. They just sort of pulled me aside and said, I've got something I want to talk to you about. And as soon as I heard it from Gilly, I thought, oh, not, not another one gone. Um, yeah, he called me up to his room and just said, mate, I'm, I'm done. He didn't even, and I, it, like, it's not up to me to try and talk anyone out of it. And I certainly didn't do that with the other three guys either. Um, as hard as it is for you to see those guys go, I, every one of those guys that retired before, and I still think they had international cricket left in them. It all came down to Gilly with his keeping. He dropped a pretty simple catch that day. And he said, mate, I, my game's not where it needs to be. And I haven't got it within me to actually do all the hard work that I have to do to get back on top of my game again. Um, and because I haven't got it in me, it's time for me to go. Bill Chris made to the last ball in his test career. <laughs> That's the over bowled. He's walking across to shake hands now, so the match is over. A drawn test match. Australia win the series 2-1. An emotional time for Adam Gilchrist and his family are here today. But what a cricketer. Generous of course. The crowd are standing now and applauding Adam Gilchrist, and rightly so. We've enjoyed some really hard-fought, tight contests over the last month, and the Indian cricket team have certainly played some, some very good cricket. Matty Hayden and I were talking on the way off, there's not many of us old boys left now. Gilly from me, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to spending some time away from the change rooms now. So congratulations, mate, and to Mel and your family, fantastic people. You couldn't meet better people in the world, so enjoy your time together. You know, it was probably the most emotional I'd been around the cricket team when those guys retired. Some of your best mates gone, but the more senior players that I lost through my captaincy time, and certainly even the last two years when I wasn't captain, it was the most exciting time for me because it was um, gave me a chance to mentor and develop. All great leaders are, are great teachers and, and they inspire the younger people in the team, so that was my job without those experienced guys being there.